Thomas Wojtyna in the black with red trim. Omran Chaban in the purple and black. Chaban with a, a little bit of a mean mugging look on his face to open this one. He's going to have a little bit of the reach advantage. Wojtyna opening up. Oh, good jab, though. Yeah, both these fighters had uh, an aggressive approach to the stare down at the way in, shall we say. <laughs> A little bit of needle going on there yesterday, so bragging rights at stake here as well. And Sortino in the centre of the cage, going to work on the leg kicks again, but it's, it's a good straight jab from uh, Shaban, keeping him honest here. Yeah, Shaban, the slightly taller of the two, I say slightly taller, significantly taller, six foot three to five nine of his opponent. So let's see how well he can use that range, Josh. Well, that's the right tactic, right? The, the leg kick, the straight shots right down the middle, use that range. Really make him think about wanting to throw them. Tomas got power in his legs and his hands and not afraid to get in there and mix it up. Tries the head kick there. He found the way up there, just a... Uh, it's hard to get your leg up that high, you know? Kirban <laughs> trying to throw one back there. Anything you can do, I can do better. Oh, nice spinning heel kick to the body there. Yeah, Shaban did a good job of moving off at the right angle there. Just takes some of the sting out of it. They're getting stuck in the pocket a bit more here. Well, this is where Tomas is going to excel, where he doesn't have to worry about the reach advantage. And actually, his shorter limbs and more compact uh, physique is going to make it a little bit better for him in the phone box. Yeah, he's, he's just going to those short hooks on the inside. He's going to struggle if he tries to strike from the outside here. He's got to get inside. It all becomes a game of cat and mouse then, of course. Tomas needs to take the step in. Can Chapin catch him in doing so? Nice, straight shots again. A good head movement when needed from Martina, though. And that's what he's got to do, you know, he can't just come forward predictably. He's got to really start bobbing and weaving, try and find a way through those straight shots. Oh, chopping leg kick there from Chaban. It's the second time he's hit that low calf. It's such a good target zone, and the timing on that was brilliant. Caught, caught Martina stepping, and it's a all that base away. Martina wearing a little battle damage. He's been reddened up by the accurate piston like strikes of Omran Chaban here. Yeah, yeah, nice head movement from the Polishman. Shaban check that kick there. You saw him just tilt that knee outwards slightly, flex that shin, try and get that shin bone as sharp as possible. And at the moment, he's certainly outscoring Watina. It's not, not as though Watina's not having his moments, but this is a good, mature performance so far from Shaban in this uh, open round. Slightly short with that big hook there was Watina. Oh, nice question mark kick from Shaban, and he pounces. Got to be careful though. Short counters from Moitina. Oh, we try it again. That question mark kick is going to come up and it's going to flick over the top of that guard. It's the close side of the body, so you've got to find a way up over that elbow and shoulder. And you see he's got some confidence in his kicking game now. That's where he doesn't want to get stuck, though. He wants to get in, get out, keep working from the outside. It was always a uh, favourite of Chris's when uh, he was competing regularly. And of course, we saw his teammate in Gary land the question mark kick to start the finishing sequence for his last performance in Cape Warriors. Here we go again, you know, you come up with a flank and then you look it over the shoulder. Especially if you set up enough low kicks first, it really does make your opponent, uh, you know, think twice about what's coming. Both men are looking very light on their feet here. Japan has been running away with this one towards the end of the first round. Yeah, it's a, it's a pretty clear momentum shift that he's settled into the striking range now. Watina looking very bruised up in this opening round. And should he make it out of the first, I'll have another 10 minutes to bring this one back. It's starting to get into a bit of a karate kind of start here. Very, very flinchy with the hips, very straight shots, a real split. Split squat stance. Martina landed the left hand in that exchange, but it's single shots at the moment, and the combinations are all coming from Shaban. That was good work from Martina to strike back and, and make Shaban abandon that plum clinch, but he found that grip, that tight grip, a little bit too easily. Shaban flicking the hips there, keeping his opponent guessing. Hey! 
And a solid first round there from Omran Shaban, it has to be said, Josh. Yeah, that's unquestionably a 10-9 to uh, the man from Team KF. And uh, Watina's got some, some changing to do here. He's got to figure something out because he's not going to win this type of, of taste kickboxing bout uh, against Shaban. It's just stylistically not working for him right now. Well, it's been a battle of the ranges here as we see Shaban just able to keep Watina on the edge of his punches and that beautiful low calf kick, Josh. Yeah, the timing was great. I mean, he turned it into a foot sweep as much as it was a calf kick, you know, and it was right on the end of some punches. So Watina had already covered up. And there's the question mark kick up over the top, and it caught him in the eye. That's what made him back up. I mean, it doesn't necessarily have a huge amount of power, but it really has a, a, a flick and a slap with the instep. Definitely sets uh, your other shots up. Yeah, and as you mentioned then, Josh, the, uh, the left hand from Watina in the clinch, causing Japan to disengage, but damage had already been done by that point. And the impact MMA man is going to have to pull something out of the bag here in the second round. He's got to find an answer to this riddle quickly. Yeah, and at the moment, it doesn't look like he has any intention to take this one down. He's going to try and stay in this striking battle, but at a certain point, he might have to just get inside and, and kind of bite down his mouthpiece a bit more. Again with that low kick. Taking Martina off balance. Nice double jab to the body from the Polishman there. And it did the good job of getting him inside, getting Shaban to cover up, but there was nothing after that. It was, it was just a double jab to find the inside and then straight back out. Again, getting those legs to work in the long, straight shots. And so many different angles of attack here from Shaban. Yeah, and you see just a bit more power in that leg kick now. Then he goes high. Watina doesn't know where that right leg is going. He's certainly not checking any of them either. Nice kick to the body there, just sends Watina stepping backwards. Oh, catches his man with a nice straight left there, though. Yeah, again, that double jab's working for him, you know, it's forcing Shaban to pedal backwards, and that's where you perhaps see a little bit of danger for Shaban, is he's going straight backwards. There's no there's no circle out, there's no lateral movement, so, you know, watina has got to try and use that and follow with something behind it. And of course, the danger, and we've seen it before with young prospects, is, especially with teenagers like, uh, like Omran is, yeah, they get a bit too overconfident with their own abilities when they're coasting in uh, in rounds like this. So, you're going to have to be careful, keep those hands up. I mean, this is a healthy pace from both guys, but, uh, you know, there's no real... You know, you don't feel like there's a knockout coming from either of them. You feel like it's a, it's a good kind of pointing display at the moment. They're getting the rounds in at this stage can't hurt for either guy. Martina trying to sling a big uppercut there, but way, way short. The eye doesn't look to be troubling him too much where he was caught with that kick in the first round. No, I think it was just the sting of the impact rather than actually any damage. Tries the hook kick. Still got a few tricks up his sleeve as Watina. Yeah, I see that double jab again. That's good head movement. His boxing's always been solid, but he's at a real physical disadvantage here against Shaban. I mean, just punching up constantly is so tiring. Just takes, drains the gas tank, takes some of the power away from the shots as well. Not to mention you have to cover distance just to get there. Oh, nice kick to the body there. Just about on the right side of legal, that one. The first time we've seen him go over the side of the body. And Martina's kicking rate has slowed right down. Used it to, to good effect early in the first. And he seemed to grimace at that body shot there. I mean, the, the, the mixing up of the target areas from Shaban has been great the whole way through. And then, you know, when he started working the body, he's done it. He's done it with decent effectiveness and impact. Particularly that uh, little teep kick we saw earlier. Swing and a miss there for Martino, and he's made to pay for it by Omar and Shaban. 
Got to be wary of those counters, though. Yeah, it almost seems like an unnecessary risk for Shaban going, going to the body and ducking his head like that with those straight body shots. And again, the question mark kick. Trying to back Latina up now. Taking a lot of punishment both upstairs and downstairs, but biting down on the gum shield and wading into the oncoming assault from Chaban is Watina. Clean jab. Watina does a good job of using his arms and his shoulders to form a much better guard than just putting the gloves up, but uh, you know, he's, he's on the losing side of this one at the moment. Final 10 seconds of the round. Martina finding a home for the jab there briefly. Hey! I think that half the problem as well for Martina, Josh, is that when he has been able to land a shot, there just hasn't been a lot on it. He's not been able to land any of those big, significant strikes in the first two rounds. Yeah, there's, as you say, Brad, there's no real power to it. They're scoring shots, but the problem is he's going toe-to-toe -to -toe with scoring shots and he's on the wrong side volume-wise. Um, you know, and starting to look a little bit one-dimensional. I think fatigue might be starting to get in there as well, which is very understandable with the kind of pressure that Shaban is putting on. Uh, you know, Shaban not having it all his own way. Yeah, he's gone to the well on that spinning kick a few times, but just doesn't quite have the angle cut right. You know, by the time he's pivoted, Shaban stepped off enough to take all of the emphasis out of it. Back in, fighter. Third and final round okay, then. Okay, guys, last one. Fight. Thomas Wojtyna, Omran Shaban. And a heavy leg kick again from the <laughs> Team KF man. There's just no attempt to check from Wojtyna. He's just going to eat them, I think. First of four preliminary bouts we have for you this evening here at Cage Warriors 110 and of course 9 p.m. local time our main card live on UFC Fight Pass. That was good from Martina and he's getting a bit more fire in, uh, in his belly here. Well, it's five minutes or bust for the Rexham base fighter. I'm sure Coach Ian Williams in the corner there has told him he's got to empty the tank here, he's got to go for broke. As you sort of mentioned in the first round, Brad, this is a fantastic experience for Shaban. Cage time, a little bit of adversity here and there, but really getting to test out some of his striking skills in this one. Well, you know, I'm, I'm sure it would have been easy for his team to say, well, you know, give us a guy who's making his uh, pro debut as well, or give us a guy who's maybe got a few more losses than wins, but they've gone out there and they've, they've taken a fight against a tough guy, an experienced guy, an older guy. And as you say, that's exactly the kind of invaluable experience that fighters should be getting at this stage. Chaban putting hands on Watina here. Yeah, I mean, Watina Chaban... firing back with that kick to the body. Chaban is wearing a bit of damage on his face. I mean, it's sort of telling you, it's been, been grueling for both guys, but uh, certainly more so for Watina. He's done a good job of checking a couple of kicks now. And oh, we're pummeling for the first time now. Body lock for Watina, looking for the reap. Good take down. He's going to get outfaced by higher hips from Chaban. Watch the shot, Good scramble. keep them clean. Well, we wondered if uh, the takedown might come as a change of pace from Martina there, but unfortunately, Chaban getting the better of him. It's a shame because he did all, all the right things, you know, he got keep that body clean, lock, got fire. inside, got the reap. Just when they hit the ground, couldn't base and get his hips uh, above Chaban. He's looking to work this overhook here from this uh, single butterfly guard. He's got options, he's trying to push the head away on, and fighter, stay busy. maybe look for a triangle entry, or a plata entry possibly, but... Oh, he's going to knee stuff pass here, there we go. Beautiful stuff there from Japan. Yeah, and let's see if he, what he can do to free this leg. He's going to lock his hands together, there we go, he's going to post up on the head and try and straighten the legs. Or use the instep now to pry that knee free, and as soon as the knee slips out, you're going to see him go left or go right. Just depends on how he feels when he does it. Watch the fingers, guys. Over Come two on. minutes left to play with in this third and final round. So plenty of time for Shaban to get something to work here. 
statistically, that is one of the highest percentage half-guard passes that you'll ever see in MMA, is flicking that in-step inside, using it to pry open. But you also see a lot of guys just strike from here, just sit on that sit on that bottom leg of the opponent, pin them down with it, and just get heavy with the hands. In the corner of Chibana telling their man that Ortini is tired here. They clearly want him to try and advance this position. They're not content with uh, him riding this one out. Oh, there we go, knees coming free. Yeah, look, uh, Chris Field's saying exactly the right thing. Use the left hand, push the knee down. Big elbows there from Shaban. You know what, though? Good, good hips and good guard retention from Watina. Every time Shaban's almost passed, he's managing to re-establish at least some form of guard. I mean, there are sweep options for him here. He's, he's on his hip as he needs to do. He's got that underhook. But um, good ground and pound to make him think twice from Shaban. Final minute of the round and the fight. Shaban still looking to advance this position here. Gets the leg free almost. Uh, and again, Watina re-establishes. It's good defense. He's, he's just got to find something to sweep the position. And with 45 seconds left now, it's really looking unlikely for him. You know, he's getting that first bit of first bit of redemption and they're not following it through. Oh, mount now. Chivan looking to posture up here. Oh, comes out the back door. Beautifully does Watina. It does, but with 30 seconds left, he needs a Hail Mary here. Does Watina have anything left here? Tries for a takedown. I mean, he's going to finish the round strong, that's, that's for sure, but uh, it's going to be a pretty clear 30 27, I think, for Omar Shaban. End of the round and end of the fight, and credit to Watina, he was in there to the last moment. But one-way traffic for most of that contest, Josh. Yeah, you can't really ask for too much more from a pro debut, really, especially at 19 years old, over an experienced opponent. Uh, really had it mostly his own way. Uh, mixed up the striking very well, generally the angles were good. You know, I'm sure Chris Fields will find a few things to work on. Uh, but, you know, ground game looks solid as well. I'm, I'm sure this guy's going to be back for, you know, a bit more. Yeah, absolutely. Celebrating with uh, his coaches there, his own brand, Shabam. And we would be very surprised if the scorecards weren't conclusively in his favour. We take a look at some of the action from this contest now. Yeah, see, this was the body lock, and Shaban just managed to get the hips up and higher. And unfortunately, Watina, once he gave up that half-guard position, he was never able to actually execute anything. Shaban did such a good job, you see here, pinning the arm, using ground and pound. You know, he constantly struck any time he needed to make Watina think about what he was doing. Celebrating, still in the cage, the very happy young man, Omran Shaban. And the scorecards have been tallied, the fighters We'll come to the centre of the cage and we will throw this one to our MC, Mr. Hal Chaplin, to make it official. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of mixed martial arts action, we go to your judges' scorecards. Your judges have scored this contest 30 27, 30 27, 29 28, in favour of your winner by way of unanimous decision in the red corner, Armand. Well, as expected, Josh, three good rounds, 